Find the men from super service Facing danger just for kicks Half a dozen super strong men Who were called the Super Six Super Six! Super Six! Battle criminals and all their evil games Super Six! Super Six! Evil doers with the men from Down the fear of darkness Giving crime an uppercut Five great thunderbolts of power And a bolt who is a nut Super Six! Super Six! They give their own for Super Six! <laughs> Super Service Headquarters, the Supermen are lined up eagerly, awaiting the daily assignment. Day or night, Super Service, dispatcher speaking. A what, Wolf? Oh, a war wolf. Okay, we'll get right on it. Hey, you, Captain Whammo. Me, sir? Yes, sir. Get over to Pasadena. There's an old maid wrestling with a war wolf. Oh, I shall rush to her aid at once, sir. Hither, yonder, and away! Not her aid, you idiot! It was the werewolf who called! Oh, boy, what a way to run a super rental service. Hey, Chief, got a job for me this morning? I'm really swinging. Cool it on the bench, super boy. You aren't ready for the big ones yet. You're just an apprentice. Aw, oh, gee, I never get a chance to show what I can do. Hey, listen to this. $500,000 involved in Got Rock's kidnapping. Got Rock's kidnapping? This is a job for Superboy! Zip, slam, zowie, and swoosh! Spends $500,000 to build soundproof nursery just so his kid can take a nap. Meanwhile, Superboying is many miles away, flying through the sky. Now, where would a kidnapper hide a kid? I'll use my powerful X-ray vision and scout around. Superboying's keen eyes scan the buildings with his X-ray vision penetrating solid stone. He decides to look into one. Ah, a guy stuffing a kid into a suitcase. That's the kidnapper, as sure as my name is Superboy. He's heading for the elevator. Well, he won't get far. Superboy smashes through the roof of the elevator housing. He ascends, holding the elevator cable. Lobby floor, watch your step. The ventriloquist walks out into thin air. Superboy swoops down on the falling suitcase. Gotcha, kid! I am going to sue you! Oh, boy, am I going to sue oh, you! I... I'll bet old man Got Rocks will pay a handsome reward to get Junior back. Those darn air pockets. There goes my reward. Several hundred yards up the track, a freight train is speeding toward the suitcase. Junior! Zip, slam, sowie, and swoop! Gee, Whitaker, that was a close one! Superboy resumes his mission of mercy. I'll have you home in a jiffy, kid. And as he dodges a projecting steeple, the suitcase slips off the guitar handle. Oh, darn it, I've lost them again. Hey, come back with that suitcase! I know what you got in there, and I want it. Let me have it. That must be another gang of kidnappers. I'll fix them. No more tricks, you guys. Why that again? How'd you like that? Zip, slam, sowie, 
I'm swell. Doggone it, that gang will stop at nothing. It's a good thing I always carry a large cork for emergencies like this. Look, fellas, don't blame the Air Force. You see, there was this nut, and he was... The Got Rocks Estate, your home at last. Oh, I finally got that kid to sleep. Now I can read the Wall Street Journal in peace. Grieve no more. Super Boeing is here. Stay away from me. <laughs> Look at that. You woke him up. Why, I even went to the expense of building him a $500,000 nursery. You've been doped. That's not your son. This is your son. Return safely to your bosom by me, Super Boeing. It's a dummy. Well, it takes one to know one. Wilkins! The dogs! This is a job for Superboy? Well, you, you better defend yourself, Granite Man, because I'm going to use every trick in the book. To give your all is the rule of good sportsmanship, Superboying. Darn right. I'm going to lead with a, with a left hook, then let you have an uppercut, th then finish you off with the old one, two. Okay. Out into the center of the ring and shake hands. No hard feelings. It's a pleasure. Shake. Dear, forgive me, Super Boeing. I concede defeat. The sleepy little Klondike town of Grimy Gulch is suddenly aroused by the arrival of Dirty Pierre, the foulest filthiest, most unsanitary man in the Yukon. Yaha, Eureka! I found mud! I found mud! I am filthy rich! Give me a glass of sour milk. Sour milk? I thought you was tough. Who died in a dirty glass, you pipsqueak? Meanwhile, at Mounted Police Headquarters in Fort Debris, the Major is instructing his troops. Troops, something has got to be done about this dirty town. It's a disgrace. Imagine being declared a disaster area 17 times in one week. Confusion, say? Grimy gulch like broken fortune cookie. Real crummy. Exactly. That's why I'm going to have you boys clean it up. And you can start in by cleaning up dirty Pierre. Fill her up again and put a scoop of dirt in it. <laughs> We're going to clean up this town starting with you, dirty Pierre. You're not going to clean up nothing. Now get out of here. <laughs> oh, Mr. Pierre doesn't want to be cleaned up, so let's quit. What? Are we men or are we Mounties? Come on. Give me another and put in more dirt this time. Oh, no. They are cleaning me. 
I will get double pneumonia in both long. Get away! I got to get myself dirty fast! I cannot stand to be clean. You know, I don't think Mr. Pierre likes us very much. So what? So I don't think we should antagonize him. He has an explosive temper, you know. Confusion, say. Best way to disarm explosive is from long distance. Long distance call for 30 Pierre. Long distance, eh? It must be Mama. Call to tell me why I no get my mud pie this month. Hello, Mama. Where is my mud pie? Nobody can bake mud pies like Mama. Oh, no. Not again. And my mud pie, she is wash off. This is too much. Just wait until I catch those matzo mounties. I make them like the potato. Hey, you crazy Indian, you. What for you are jump up and down, eh? Do dance. Make them rain. <laughs> Make the rain, you stupid, superstitious aborigines. Rain? Okay, hui. It always make my skin break out. Confusion, say, man go on tour? Get taken for a ride. Hurry, hurry, hurry. The free tour of Grimy Gulch leaves in five minutes. Come one, come all. See the dumps, tour the slums, all free. Oh boy, me first, me first. Oh, a bathtub. They fool me again. There's only one way left to deal with Dirty Pierre. One of us will have to shoot him. Think of a number between one and ten. Six? Right. You get to shoot Dirty Pierre. Come on. But I don't think... I mean, I never... I didn't... Okay, White. Go ahead. Shoot him. <laughs> so, you going to shoot Dirty Pierre, eh? <laughs> that is so funny! <laughs> of all the dirty trick, a water gun! <laughs> this is the rottenest trick of all! Now I cannot get dirty no more. <laughs> and in recognition of your fine work in cleaning up Grimy Gulch, it gives me great pleasure to present you with the Silver Squeegee. Well, if you cannot lick them, join them. <laughs> How about shining up my boots, my little friend? Sure thing, elevator man. But it's gonna cost you 50 cents this time. What? Why, that's robbery. You used to charge me only a dime. Yeah, uh, but, but the price of shoe polish has gone up. Uh, okay. Here's 50 cents. But you gotta promise to do a good job. You can depend on it. I'll go get my shoe shine kit. Be back in a jiffy. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, what are you, a wise guy or something? A deal's a deal. Shine him up.
This is the city. But all is not peaceful in this city. Deep within this innocent-looking building is the laboratory of Dr. Zabo Tour. What evil concoction is Dr. Zabo conjuring up now? Let's listen. Olaf, this will be my greatest invention. Now watch. <laughs> It's gone. <laughs> ah, yes, gone. Disappeared before your very eyes. I have devised an instant cement disintegrator. It is the greatest invention of my career. I, uh, that's what you said about this instant dandruff remover. And it turned out to be a flop. Flop? Why, there is nothing like it for making dandruff disappear. Sure. But it also makes everything else disappear. Everything. All right, so it has a couple of bugs in it. But this, Olaf, my instant cement disintegrator is perfect. Uh, what are we doing here, Doctor? Are we going to make a deposit? No, Olaf. We are going to make a withdrawal. Watch. Golas, attach this to the safe. All right, Harvey. Heave ho, and away we go. Good work, boys. Now let's get out of here fast. Later at Super Service Central. You say the bank was robbed? What did they take? The whole building? But well, they can't get away with that. This is a job for Granite Man. Hey, Percy, come here. And me? Percy, get over to the park. Tell Granite Man the bank at 7th and Grand is missing. Oh, you mean it's been robbed? I mean it's missing. Robbed and missing. Oh, boy. I better hurry. Granite Man, oh, rock of power. Awaken face of this dangerous hour. Oh, hello, Percy. What's the trouble? Someone robbed the bank, and the cops are baffled. Okay, let's be on our way. You'd better scout around and see if you detect anything of a suspicious nature. A check. Do you see anything? I see a truck uh, with a safe on it. Come on! Hey, Doc, there's a guy and a bird on a motorcycle, and uh, they're coming up fast. Let them come. I have a little surprise for them. <laughs> My instant cement disintegrator. <laughs> There. That should do the trick. <laughs> Hit the brakes. Half the bridge is gone. Well, Percival, it appears that from now on we go by foot. You go by foot, Granite Man. It's such a nice day, I think I'll fly. So that's their hideout. Boy, I'd better get Granite Man over here right away. All right, Olaf. Go to work on it. Your little game is up, Dr. Saboteur. It's Granite Man. Quick, Olaf. Give him a hot foot all over. Hey, Doc, he acts like he's enjoying it. The fighter's got no effect on him. Well, let's see how this quick-drying cement sets with him. I, I... I can't move. Okay, Olaf. Take him outside and put him in the rock crusher. So long, Granite Man. You make somebody a nice rock garden. 
you, Granite Man. But don't worry. I'll be right back. One for you, two for me. Two more for me. And one for you. Two for me, plus one more for me. Gee, I sure hope this works. It's a good thing I made of granite instead of cement. And now come. We must stop that fiendish doctor. Do you know how my mother has to scrub floors? Well, I'm getting her a new mop and pail. And this is only the beginning. You're wrong, Doctor. This is the end. Don't you ever knock. It's prison for you two. You'll get 99 years, maybe even life. Oh, yes? You got to catch us first. No, no, not that. Not my dandruff remover. <laughs> Here come the police. Now, what do we tell them? We'll tell them that Dr. Zavator and Olaf just disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Super Six, Super Six, Battle Criminals and all their evil games. Super Six, Super Six, Evil Doers with the mention of their names. Put down the fear of darkness, giving crime an uppercut. Five great thunderbolts of power, and a bolt who is a nut. Super Six, Super Six, they give their own for Super Six. Thank you. 